top one note tips and tricks hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with one note and what are the tips and tricks that you can deploy to make it easier for you to use one note so let's get into it now OneNote is a free application provided by Microsoft, which is present in conjunction with all of their other Microsoft tools. It is available for anyone for free and it can be a great note taking and organizational app. Now they have a desktop version as well as a web version. This is the web version and then the downloadable desktop version looks like this. The interface is a bit better on the downloaded version and the downloaded version is available for free for Mac, Windows or any other device. Now to get started, simply log on and create your account on Microsoft OneNote. Once you have created your account, you're going to see this is going to be your main dashboard. Now to get started with the first thing, which is visibility or viewing, then you can go on ahead and click on view on the top once you click on view on the top you have your ribbon that will be turned on now you can remove that if you don't require that because a lot of times if you're someone that you know doesn't need a lot of font customization they already have decided on your basic formatting you don't need the basic ribbon we can remove that if that is not necessary Secondly, even in the view tab, you have the option to go into paper style and you can create a particular type of paper style in your notes. So this allows you to build paper according to the type of notes that you want to write down. For example, directly when you create your account, it will automatically use your name and create a notebook and you can click on add notebook and add multiple different notebooks. So you can categorize different types of information. For example, one could be a notebook for all of your work related matters and the other could be all of your personal matters. But let's say I want to just use this notebook and within that you can add sections and within a section you can add pages. So we have our first untitled page and I'm just going to name this page tutorials like this. And once you click on that, you will be able to see if I write down a note like this, it's going to appear as a individual section that I can move around as well. So I can move around a section to be able to deploy or organize my notes. Now for customization of the paper style, let's say I want to create a list of my groceries. So I have a grocery shopping list like this. Number one, I have milk. Let's say I have to get milk, eggs, and butter. Now, after I do that, if I want this to be a differently aligned paper, I can go ahead, go into view, click on paper style, and let's say I want this to be a narrow ruled paper. Now this will rule the entire paper with a narrow lining and I can expand the size of my notes or you know increase the font size to customize the sizing of that as well plus you can also choose how you want the text to appear within the block so if you want center alignment if you want this type of alignment like this and you can expand the size of the box as well now let's say i want to switch back the paper style so i can go into view and then go back into none to keep a simple paper style now moving on within your particular type of tabs that you create you will see on the left you have notebooks and then you have your section so i can build a separate section which would be segregated from all of the quick notes and let's say this is going to be my content ideas and then i can build a page within that which might be let's say the page is going to be called instagram post ideas like this and i can click on add page and add multiple different pages related to the same note section or related to the same section now i'm going to just cut that page out and we have this particular page now in a page you can click on insert on the top and once you click on insert you have the option to insert a table file printout link date shape as well as audio recording meeting details and if you click on insert on your top tab, you have the same options available to you. And if you directly type in the text, you get a tab. Now, if you click on a tab and you click on edit on your tab, you can switch the viewer, you know, you can switch the style of the tab as well. So you can click on format and then you have different styles. So you can click on the style that you want to designate. Now, this particular style has been designated to this tab. I can click on this, I can go into notebooks, sections, or my pages. I'll go into styles for now and to go into 
my styles. I can mark this with a particular tag as well. So let's say this is my to-do list and now it has been formatted as a to-do list and now I can add multiple different items that need to be completed. So let's say I have a influencer ad post, then I have maybe let's say TikTok trend then we have something like a standard post like this and then when you complete those things you can check them out and then this will help you in making sure that you know whether or not tasks are being completed within time and once you have customized your tab styles you can see you can customize the general appearance of the pages alongside the tab styles as well now there are also a bunch of shortcuts that are available and you can use those shortcuts to save time whenever you are working. To access any shortcut, for example, if I go into notebooks, it would show me deleted notes, notebooks. If I want to open a new notebook, I have the option of uh, control command N like this, and this will open up a new notebook, which I can customize by myself. So I can go on ahead, enter new notebook name, use my own color and start building that particular notebook. And you can find all of the access, all of the tools to access these particular types of shortcuts on the top of your screen. So if I want to make something bold, I can just click on Command B. I'll click on Command B and this will be converted into bold. And it's really important to know some of the frequently used things that you might be doing. Now, other than that, you have the option to create these tabs, which are basically tabs that can be important, can be questioned, and you can even create a new tag. So let's say I want to create a tag for, let's say we want to create our own tag. This could be related to anything. So let's say this tag name is going to be Instagram, or let's say this is going to be TikTok content stream. This is my TikTok content stream and I'm managing that over here and I can choose the icon I want to use. So let's say I want to use this type of checkbox. Mm, yeah, I'll just use this simple checkbox and click on create. And once I do that, I can go on ahead and directly go into my tags on the top. Once I go into my tags, I can choose the TikTok content stream and create a particular tag like so like this and I can choose that as well and that can help you in making sure that whenever you are building your notes you have a idea of what goes where and in this way you can write effective notes that are going to be helpful later on as well. Now with that you also have the option to share your notebooks so if you go into a particular share, uh, notebook and do a right click you have the option to first off add password protection so you can protect your particular section or notebook entirely you can see over here this is going to be your notebook section if we go into OneNote, i'll go into the microsoft 365 dashboard we're gonna have to go into there mm, this is the OneNote app i'll have to open this up in a new window and for our particular notebook we can close this notebook we can you know share this notebook as well but if i go on ahead and build a new notebook which i will build it right now like this i'll use it as my maybe youtube content management and i want to share that particular notebook with other people for that i can create a designated notebook and do a right click on that notebook and then click on share to share a notebook plus you can also password protect certain sections within one individual notebook as well to make it easier for you to manage privacies on your notes so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe